And we're back. For more of this. As ever, the village people have returned. The village people. Wouldn't that be more appropriate for, like, Resident Evil 4? Well, in the Navy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Look, I work hard on my jokes, right? No one's denying that. I'm just trying to make lame jokes of my own. This makes me think of padlocks, and I actually really hate using, uh... Oh, no, combination locks, sorry. I hate using combination locks. They are kind of finicky. I actually never used my locker in middle school or high school because, well... <laughs> I work hard. Yes, you certainly do. Yeah, I didn't use my locker in high school or middle school because, well, I'm so shitty at using combination locks. I used my locker, but uh, people had a tendency to put gum on the dial and uh, made it impossible to open. That's weird. Yeah. Fucking combination locks. Although I guess this is less of a combination lock and more of a uh... convoluted series of button pressing puzzles. Yeah. A really, really convoluted series of button pressing puzzles. You can just feel me trying to remember how which buttons to hit. Mm, yes. Password is swordfish. Wrong game. Nineteen. Fuck. Is it nineteen ninety seven or nineteen seventy one in this game? I forgot. The hell if I know. <laughs> what a nice dainty landing. Kinda, yeah. It's like you hit enough force to go through the window and you must weigh 300 pounds. Uh, such a dainty landing for such a huge motherfucker. Kind of like gently floated to the ground. Yeah, right? My fire emblem amiibos. Yeah. And unsurprisingly, the Solar amiibos were sold out within like an hour. No doubt. Even overpriced as they were. They're only like three bucks more than normal. Which, I mean, all things considered not too bad, considering compared to what they're going to cost uh, in like a month from now. True. Like, 40 bucks. Are you kidding? There's probably going to be scalpers on eBay selling them for a grand. Man, I should have bought one. <laughs> I think about these things after the fact, mostly because like, I'm not a jerk, so you know, I don't think about this shit. Makes me really wish I still had that E.T. cartridge for my old Atari. I don't have the lighter anymore, so whoops. Smooth move, X-Lax. I decided to be a nice person and give him, go give Rod Ringo the hemostatic medicine first. Because, you know, I'm a decent person. Are you, are you even carrying it? No, she gives it all, gives it to me. Oh. And then you get the lockpick instead. Oh, right. Bleh. So instead I'll just kill the bats. Slowly but surely. 
I tried to do this to the crows in Resident Evil Remake, and it was really just a waste of ammo. Hmm, kind of. Incidentally, I see you were in a Symphony of the Night kind of mood. Well, I mean, I started the joke, so... It's important to be consistent. Yes. We take yeah, we take our jokes very seriously here. We see this shit through to the edge. That's just how I roll with my jokes. I kind of forgot that there's nothing in this room until you know top floor. So you're grinding your face against the walls for nothing, is what you're saying? Pretty much. That happens. Jill's gonna have a really gnarly rash on one cheek. Er, Jill? Claire is going to have a really gnarly rash on one cheek by the time this is over. Who puts pads on their doors? Keep focused, brother. This insane I asylums? Only a girl. Well, put those on the walls, not the so doors. Long. Well, you know, padded cells. Well, the padding is kind of part of the whole thing, not specifically the doors. Are you denying that this is an insane asylum? Uh, yes, I am. I don't know, it looks like a loony bin to me. Well, loonies live there, but it's not specifically a loony bin. Take everything so damn literally. Yeah, well, that was how I was as a kid. Why is there a window in people's in Alexia's bedroom? So Alfred can peep on her? Oh, what, I mean, like, Alexia? looking out in the hallway. Nothing. Like, I believe I must the point? imagining things. Let us go, brother. OSHA compliance or something? Housing compliance? Housing Do laws? You, you really think that that makes a difference to these people? <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> they have railings. Arbitrarily. I mean, everything that could use a railing has one. Some of them are just broken. Now Claire hesitates. I don't know, she seems to like arbitrarily hesitate for some rooms and some other ones. I don't get it either. Yeah, enough of that. Thank you. That music reminds me of something else, and I can't put my finger on it. Okay, so if you stop the music, the music box shuts and locks. I don't get it either, man. What if you want to, like, switch the record? Well, then you put the ant in the lid and open it back up. But what if the ant isn't in there? Well, you're SOL, then. You have to go back to an item box and get it. So dumb. Like, I would give give Resident Evil puzzles a bit more of a pass if, like, there was some logical consistency to them. Yeah, well... Resident Evil has a very, very, very tenuous relationship with uh, logic, I think. Because <laughs> it's like, who would live at any of these places or work in any of these places if it was like this to do anything? The zombie apocalypse happens, you don't like. Well, it's like, well, I'm gonna go turn on all the security systems. I guess. I kind of thought security systems were to keep people out, not, you know. keep people in. It depends on the application. And I suppose it works just as well if uh, it's nothing but zombies and. Shit, trying to get through doors. Simple lock would suffice. Except for the times where they can just hit a door a couple times and then it opens anyway. Well, yeah. You'll have that. And then the door still stays locked. So. Come to think of it, yeah. How can they break down a door but you still can't get through it? 
I mean, I suppose most of them are. Most of the doors are. They come through are unlocked. But then there's the question of how does the door why how or why does the door just immediately shut again? <laughs> Unless the house is at a slight angle. And it could be. Be kind of weird. Somehow all the doors are positioned such that gravity will pull them closed. No matter which direction they open. Spooky. It's like really poor craftsmanship. <laughs> non Euclidean craftsmanship. That would be both you know, different sides of the house would be have to be at slightly different angles. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, gravity's pulling the doors closed no matter which way they're facing, so. Well, if you think about that, wouldn't like when it rains, wouldn't the water just kind of sp accumulate on the roof? It depends on how much it's tilted, I guess. And if it's tilted enough to make a door, every door stay and shut itself. Well, I mean, our bathroom downstairs, the door shuts itself. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I never really noticed. Probably because I never really used that bathroom. Although I will be for the foreseeable future until my bathroom is fixed temporarily again. A strange toilet that decides to break itself every so often. Although I think this time it's actually like given up the ghost. I can only plunge it for so long before you know, I kind of get to the point where it's like, this isn't gonna work. I still think it's just an obstruction in the main pipe. Probably. Something like, especially solid, like concrete. Or crayons. Or a Tonka truck. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if Frank had kids and what they flushed down the toilet, so... I mean, that's fair. I think he had grandkids, and, uh, he was, um, should I let you read this? Alpha Rashford, how do you feel today? Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Desk at the large-scale DOW platform. that means 432 for you, uh, 24-hour time deficient. Go on. Extreme power was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed to Dish and Green in accordance with standard procedures. Is currently being stored in the freezer. There is one thing I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions while we were to transport a frozen capsule this time. Talking like this because Hunk wears a gas mask. I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important that the contents are potentially harmful. I'd like to ask you to provide us with more information, should we be assigned similar missions in the future. And I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. It's only been like a week. <laughs> we will gear up for the next mission today at 2300 hours. Umbrella Special Forces Unit. Psst, that means 11 p.m. It's kind of late. Kind of. It's like, well, we got here at 4.30, or else we'll roll out at 11. Eh, yeah, their scheduling is a little bit weird. It's like, I know we get, just got here, but we gotta leave. I'm gonna guess that, like, Punk trained here when Alfred's dad was around. That makes sense. I feel like anyone trained here when Alfred was running the place would be kind of a substandard. They, or dead. They clearly are, because they're all dead. No. Well, yeah. Undead. As the case may be. Blech. Full of fries. Fries and burgers. Thank <laughs> you. 
My stomach is insisting I have a protein shake or something. I'm kind of debating what I'm going to have for dinner. Anyway, next time on Relic of Bromance, more... More village people. More wandering through somebody's house.